Hello, hello. I have arrived. All right. So, tonight, Tales of Arise. Let's see. It's been a good long time since we played this game, huh? I was just looking at my Steam, my Steam stats for this game, well, with having to launch it through Steam and all. And yeah, last time, last time I launched it was on November 2nd. So it has been, it has been a good long time. Good long time. But we're back. Yeah, so let's see. What's there to be said before we get started? Uh, yeah, I guess if you are watching this live, you'll have noticed that this is later than the usual time. Like I said yesterday, uh, I have a I had a meeting today, and as a result, I had to adjust the schedule a little bit. Yeah, I wasn't. Yeah, I wasn't exactly sure how long it would how long it would last or when precisely it would start because it was. There were a lot of factors involved, a lot of other factors involved that I was simply not aware of. So I couldn't plan around it too much. But anyway, we're here now. Yes. So tomorrow, let's see. I don't anticipate any changes tomorrow. And I think, yeah, tomorrow should be the same. And I believe Friday should be the same also. But yeah, assuming assuming all else goes as expected and as as, as planned. But yes. So tomorrow we should be seeing some more Valhalla with Sheppy Sheps, Valhalla Cyberpunk bartending action, and then yes, Friday more Tales of Arise. Let's see. That should be basically everything that needs to be said. So let's move on from the saying of things to the playing of things, shall we? All right, ba -ba -ba. video game. Oop, nope, wrong thing. Hold on. Still get my computers mixed up here every now and then. Yes. So, oop, you're not going to quit the game. We're going to. I'm going to make sure that I load the right file again because I'm still a little bit paranoid after that that one time. Yeah, so that's 22, 33, 20. Yeah, that should be that should be the most recent file. Just in case. Just in case. Yeah, I feel like we did I I feel like I must have skipped over something because we got through the intro really quick. Because yeah, Tuesday. Or no, not Tuesday. Thursday. Tales will rise. Or no. Thursday, Valhalla Cyberpunk bartending action with Sheppy Sheps. Friday, Tales of Arise. Did I say the times? I might not have said the times. Yeah. 8.30 p.m. Central Time, Thursday. 7.30 p.m. Central Time, Friday. Yeah, I think that must have been what I missed. But anyway, so, last time we were playing Tales of Arise, we learned some interesting things. We seem, It seems to be that there are some people scheming here in the well, not here. Scheming in the court of the the Lord of these lands. So yeah, we need to uh, we need to go return to uh, Elden Anencia and sort of see what's going on. Because yeah, someone someone is up to something. <laughs> someone is up to something. Yeah, and they managed to get our friend here, whose name I've forgotten, Miguel. Yeah, I think, yeah, it should be, yeah, Miguel. Yeah, he, you know, was also a loyal follower of the, oh, what's, oh dear, I've forgotten the Lord of, the, of Elda Menencia's name. Unfortunate. Yeah, was also a loyal follower, but uh, was, was uh, chased out as part of this conspiracy. And so now... There's sort of a, uh, there's an underground movement here, but unlike the underground movements we've seen in the other regions, they're not necessarily looking to depose the local lord, because they like him fairly well. Yeah, they like him, they like him well enough. And they certainly wouldn't want, uh, another one. So where should we... I think, yeah, we need to go to Vicent. We do need to go to Vicent. And we, yeah, we can fast travel directly to the sand. 
I was thinking we might need to go to the vicinity. But yes. That's it. Oh. <sighs> How glad I am to see you. Hmm? Why? What's up? I have to give I have something to give Kisara. Hmm. But she's a little hard to reach, so if you wouldn't mind uh hmm? Oh, right, because you'd have to approach the palace to see her. Alright. Sure. We'll see a guest to her somehow. Thanks. I really appreciate it. As for the big plan, just wait for Zare. She'll deliver a message when it's time. Right. Got it. We'll make sure to prepare in the meantime. Sorry to keep adding to your plate. An old bracelet. An old bracelet filled with a lot of memories and cherished by its owner for many, many years. Finally. If only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. We got here pretty fast, I think. Faster than we would have if I had just walked. Now I can't forget there is a lot in the in the forest that we didn't see earlier because I wanted to get on with the story. And I kinda do still want to get on with the story, so we're not gonna go back just yet. It'll be a little while. But yes. So we'll see how much uh pardon me. See how much free time we have. This probably is gonna end up another sort of dialogue heavy stream. Yeah, but I do have some topics that I would like to discuss at some point. Oh, good. There you are. You people again. You shouldn't be loitering around here. Don't force Just me arrived. to arrest you. Think we've established you couldn't even if you wanted to. What? Law, quit it. We're not here to argue with you, Captain. We're here to make a delivery. We've got something to deliver to you. Here. Uh, that's... That's it. That bracelet. Is that my brother's? Why are you giving this to me? I can't help but wonder what my brother is planning with all this. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. That said, I think he was being sincere about everything he told us back there. I've met a lot you don't of good have any reason to, to really Dana. believe that he would be. And I got the same feeling from yeah, that he would be did from all of them. Have any? I think we can trust him. Yeah, have any. No will good towards the. Do. Otherwise, he would report on us and the gold dust cats. Once right? again, I've forgotten his name, sadly. What makes you think I won't? Well, the fact that because you haven't Miguel already. Trusts you. And that's enough for me to trust you, too. You're a pretty unusual guy, Alfin. Alfin is do pretty unusual. That is, like that, that is true. Everywhere you liberate people? What do you mean? I'm sorry. Forget it. Alfin is in many ways okay. very normal but in many other anyway, ways he's he's think we'll a little bit odd about what Miguel's planning soon enough all we can do now is wait and see what happens i guess so hmm. well i guess we just wait for things to kick off yeah it would seem so Looks like we'll be staying at the inn another night we really are repeat customers there i don't know if we've stayed at any given inn as many times as we've stayed at this one inn in the relatively short time that we've been here. Let's see. It doesn't look like there's anything in the way of new dialogue. I think there would be new icons if there was. So I suppose with that, we might as well make our way to the inn and take a rest. But yeah, I guess now that we've got some downtime, uh, space, Senna launched the rocket yesterday. Yeah, the, the Artemis 1, Artemis 1 rocket. That was pretty neat. I happened to, uh, I was completely unaware that that was happening. <laughs> so I just happened to be, I happened to be up too late and I ended up staying up even later so that I could watch it because I, because it was very cool and interesting and I like space things. Ah, that. Very punctual. Oh, it's Zare. Hold on. She's got something tied to her collar. Should we be announcing these things in Aww, she left. public? It happens tomorrow. They want us to meet in that underground quarry. You're you're not gonna tell anyone on us, are you there, innkeeper? Then we should prepare while we still can. 
We'll spend the night here at the inn again. I guess as long as he's getting our business, maybe he maybe he's more concerned with that than with anything else. Well, this is it. Yeah. What angle is the Lord gonna take? That depends on Megal. Mm. Let's hurry to the quarry. All right, let's make our way down. Hmm. I just realized I forgot to update the forgot to update the now playing. Also, it's probably there may be some way that I can make this work automatically. I have no idea what that would be though. Nails of arise. There we are. Oh, don't do that. There we go. Cool. All right. Quarry. Where is the quarry? Oh, right. Yes. Down the road over here. And just proceeding further on. Yeah, I suppose I don't have... I don't have a whole lot to say about the Artemis 1 launch. Because, again, I wasn't... It's not something that I had looked into extensively previously. Because, again, I was completely unaware that it was going to happen. There is my lord, the guy. Please hear my humble request. Our Who guy. There? Hi, it's us. It's also it's also him. It's Miguel. Don't worry too much is about uh, the. The traitor. Don't worry too much about Guards, him. Guards, don't let them get any closer. His Excellency's life is in grave danger. Kill them all at once. I'd appreciate it if you didn't do that. To be honest. Wait. Oh, Helene, that's his name. Stay back, Your Excellency. It's too dangerous. Enough. Well, he's pretty, he pretty, cannot harm me. pretty tough. Nor, I think, does he intend to do so. Isn't that right, Miguel? Indeed it is, Lord Dohalim. I have heard many a rumor about you, but I suppose we'll have more time for those later. You have made some rather interesting friends. Interesting is a word to he describe it, I suppose. He has wishes to show you. And we are here to make sure he does. And what could that be? Please, my lord, you needn't give these miscreants the time of day. I shall personally I feel silence. Like, I feel Kelsalik. like Kelsalik I wish to speak may have something to do with something that's going on here. Please. Given how eager he is you to say. prevent uh, Miguel from doing or saying anything. It's what's in there, my lord. Hmm. Have you ever walked all the way through the quarry, my liege? Right to the other side? there. Now that you mention it, I don't believe I have. It's a den and medical facility of some kind, is it not? I feel like it's the is it not option I there. I think you need to see for yourself, my lord. All I ask is that you witness this before you pass judgment upon me. Then witness it I shall. Kisara, this man is your brother, correct? I would like to ask that you personally escort me while in there. Well, we're going to get a question answered. Possibly a few. Hopefully a few, I suppose. Hmm. This doesn't look a whole lot like a medical facility. I should warn you. What lies ahead is fraught with danger. You should all take care and stay on your guard as we proceed. Hmm. Danger? What could be so dangerous about it? It's a regular workplace, isn't it? You'll the dungeon see. music would Please. seem to suggest I otherwise. You trust me. Sounds like you all need to rethink your medical facilities around here. Hospitals are supposed to be safe. My thoughts exactly. Quite. Well. Kisara, let's see what they have to show us, shall we? As you wish, my lord. Your strength is appreciated. With you, we can all breathe a the little easier. The tales are <laughs> rising. Hello, Liz. It's been a good long while since we've seen each other, hasn't it? Yes. Welcome. We've befriended Kisara. Kisara's perk. Guard ignition. Instead of evading, Kisara prefers to guard with her shield and even trigger some arts while guarding. Successfully guarding raises her morale, making any arts unleashed while guarding and resulting combos stronger and harder to block. Alright. Let's hear some more from Kisara real quick. I didn't realize you held my strength in such high regard. 
I meant what I said before. Anyone who tries to fight you will have a hard yes. time. Of I it. hope you're having a, a fine night, night living that enormous shield. Yeah. Ever since my first job How as a guardsman, doing today? our duty was to stop any attack dead in its tracks, then take all that momentum and turn it right around to smash the attacker. A good old fashioned well, Why bother blocking in the first place? Wouldn't it be better to just dodge the attack and hit back immediately? Try doing that when you've got someone standing behind you that you need to protect. This exactly. shield is a symbol of you our conviction as guardsmen. Terms. Every time we successfully block an attack, our fighting spirit only grows stronger. So what you're saying is that, unlike Law, you can actually take a hit. <laughs> I'm right here! I'm, I get the feeling that's probably why she, <laughs> you being right there is the reason why she said that, Law. This area right here is where the real heart of darkness used to lie in Menencia. It wasn't unusual for the holes we dug in this earth to become our graves, and for the stones we mined to serve as our tombstones. Mm. That's right. I can remember it so clearly. I remember how the adults used to describe this place. Like it was setting foot in the gaping maw of a monster. But anyway... Mm. That's all history now. It feels like it might be. It is. All the bloodstains on more, the rocks. More relevant the today air, than, than the constant stench of From death. the sounds of things. We're might be more relevant today than you might all in the hope. distant past. The smell of sweat and debris still hangs in the air. But at least now the Danans of Menencia can live with joy in their hearts. And it's you that we have to thank for this, Lord Dohalim. We would never have come so far if it wasn't for you. Mm. Magal, why bring all of this up now? What exactly is the point? I just We're getting to, to that point, us. That I imagine. I think it's important that we remember how precious the rights we enjoy under his lordship's grace truly are. But I still don't get why... You'll understand soon enough. Mm. For now, I simply want you to keep what I've said in mind as we continue our journey. Well, then let's be on our way. And of course, of course, we're going to need to switch Kisara into into the party. Let's see, I think it's been a long time since I switched around anything. I think who do we want to switch out? We don't want to switch out. We definitely don't want to switch out. We definitely don't want to switch out Chion. You know what? I think we'll switch out Law. I do like Locke quite a bit, but I want to try out Kisara, and what better? I feel like it feels it would feel weird to not have Alfin in the party. I suppose he doesn't necessarily have a strictly necessary tactical role. He just sort of does damage, but you know, it'd feel weird to not have him in the party again. Like I said, and we'll, we'll walk around with Kisara as well. All right, let's see what there is to see. There's definitely, there's still some activity going on, it would seem. Given that there are, are, are yeah, are, are blocks dropping down. Gathering up it's Earth energy. It's teeming with Zoogles. Are they kept here as some kind of deterrent? Not that I know of. This is where the spirit vessel is housed, so it's no place for beasts. What's going on? Where are all the laborers? That is concerning. You're the only one who doesn't seem in the least bit surprised. Perhaps you'd care to enlighten us? All in due course, my lord. But first, just a little bit further. Once we reach our destination, everything will become clear soon enough. Hmm. Fine. As you wish. All right, time to learn more about Kisara and I her fondness your for shield. Just appears out of nowhere whenever you need to use it, just like Shion and her gun. Does it use the same Renin transferal technology too? Don't you need astral energy in order to use that? You do. Obviously, mm. I can't cast arts myself, but I'm equipped with a device that has the necessary energy charged into it. Interesting. As long as I'm using the device, I can call forth my shield oh, whenever that, I like. Does that sort of device need to be recharged? Equipment charged with astral energy isn't all that hmm. rare. 
Not that notable, so apparently. So basically, but... there's nothing special about Renin technology that prevents Danins from using it? No. But as you might expect, normally they'd never be given any of it in the first place. Makes sense. It's not as if just anybody gets to have it here. You need to earn Lord Dohalim's trust before you're allowed access to it. Hmm. What makes you so sure he's not bribing you? Rinwell. I'm just being honest. It's not normal. This this place is a little bit abnormal. I understand why you'd be skeptical. But... However, Elda Menencia truly has transformed and evolved from the sort of realm it once was. Yes, she's right. And that's exactly why I... Miguel? Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Mm. I'll explain more once we arrive at our destination. We were almost about to get some more lore there. Oop. Everyone that's, okay? That seems like an unsafe way to make our way down. But I suppose this is an unsafe place to be. Uh, this thing sure hits hard when it charges at you. Wow. Let me see if I can help. I'll drive it back with this great shield. All right, tutorial time. Isara's boost attack. Isara sticks her giant shield into the earth to attack the enemy and protect allies. If it hits an enemy, it'll down them and weaken any subsequent charge attacks. This move also boosts all allies' defense and elemental defense. Press L2 and yeah, directional directional buttons to, to perform a boost strike with a party member who's not participating in the current battle. Very nice. Okay, so we. We'll be able to. We will be able to call on La if we need to. Being charged. Give me a shot. Right. So yeah. So we don't need to worry. Oops. I should probably do the thing that the tutorial section is not. But uh, yeah. What I was saying is. Yeah. What I was saying is that we don't necessarily need to have Law in the party. Okay. So the yeah. The, the shield is not just like a. You fold it down and you remain. Yeah, you don't just hold it down and remain blocking. You do have to... Or no. Hmm. I thought it was... Hmm. Yeah. It seemed like it only lasted for so long before. But maybe I just wasn't... Uh, maybe I just wasn't paying attention. Yeah, I guess I need to... I need to, yeah, actually block their attack. But I've not been doing a great job of. There we go. I think. Or not. That was something, but it wasn't the thing I blocked them to Yes, get a charge in any place. Okay, so they need to be charging specifically. If they're doing their body slam, presumably that doesn't count. So whenever you, whenever you feel like charging, maybe. You'd be so kind, please. Yeah, that definitely didn't do it. So, ah, okay. Well, I did it right before he did the charge attack. Ah, there we go. Nice. Sufficient for our purposes. Kisara's boost attack. When boars and other enemies try to charge at you, call on Kisara. Her boost attack stops charging attacks dead in their tracks and weakens any subsequent attempts. Okay, okay. So it's sort of a... Uh, yeah, it specifically is an ability that is intended to prevent charge attacks. Which is interesting. I don't, I don't think we've seen a whole lot of charge attack type attacks. Yeah, definitely it doesn't seem to do a whole lot else, or doesn't seem to have a whole lot of effect on other types of attacks. It might just be that I am too used to have playing lava, but Kisara definitely does feel quite a bit slower. Which makes sense given that she doesn't have sort of the Yeah, she doesn't have a hmm, Ah, I should have made sure that I was using uh combo attack with uh, Kisara. But oh well. Unbreakable wall. Master Arts Gauge Recovery. Commemoration of the enemy charges stop with Kisara's great shield. No matter how hard they hit, she can always weather the storm. Let's see, what else do we have? Nava Solo training grounds cleared. 
That shouldn't be too difficult. Power strike proficiency, 600. Favorite meals cooked. Favorite meals. Is that? Yeah, that's the yeah, that's the name for the mechanic where certain characters cook certain yeah, cook certain meals and have certain benefits. Devout sister. After saving her from a life of hell, Isara has sworn to protect and serve her lord, even if it means severing ties with her only living family. Captain Kisara, a member of the Elder Menencia Guard who, who wards off threats to her lord with her hammer and her great shield. Alright, so she's got quite a bit of SP. Increased guarding effects, further reduces the amount of damage taken while guarding. So you do take, I guess it makes, it makes sense. Yeah. Reduces the amount of damage you take while guarding, so you do take some damage. I thought, I didn't notice that in the tutorial, but I guess, yeah, yeah, you're invincible in the tutorials anyway, so that's probably why. Moving while guarding will probably go a long way in making Kisara feel less less cumbersome. Counter edge. Because yeah, I guess would we can we trigger counter edge by blocking with the appropriate appropriate timing, I wonder. Hmm. There's nothing that specifically says that there's nothing that specifically says that we can. Hmm. I suppose we'll get more. You know what? Let's buy out this whole, whole title. Or at least as much of it as we can. You can change which characters will fight in combat, as well as who you wish to control. Your position determines who to, what to press to trigger the boost attack. Press L1 or R1 to change combat yeah, during combat to change who you can control. Press options to change your character's battle control. Semi-auto automatically moves character around until in attack mode. Manual fully character full character control. Auto fights based on set strategy. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, that's stuff we're all fairly familiar with. All stuff we're fairly familiar with. Yeah, I guess I was going to comment on Isara seemingly having a un unusually and perhaps unnecessarily specific focus for her, what her boost attack specifically counters. This doesn't look like anything that's pleasant, but uh, I guess Rinwell also has a specifically anti anti art ability. And Xion specifically has an anti-flying enemy ability. And Law has an anti-specifically shielded enemy ability. And again, again, Elfin just sort of has a damage ability. Anti-things that are alive ability. Look at that smoke. I guess we'll have to run straight through it. No, don't. The smoke is alarmingly thick. It's unhealthy. So... What? Are you saying we just wait it out until it dissipates? All right. No, we won't have to do that. This is a good time to put some of my guardsmen training to use. All right. Show, show what, what you can do. Oh, hold on. Arts. You can do arts? I guess we established that she has like that. Yeah, arts still, type equipment. What's with that smoke and these zoogles around here? I guess arts don't necessarily mean astral arts. So, yeah, I shouldn't necessarily... I should avoid confusing the two. Hmm. It's quite hard, doesn't she? Huh. Yeah, I need to get Power Strike proficiency to get one of the... Hmm. Okay, so we can... We can move while guarding. We can't move a whole lot while guarding. Or rather, we can move, but we can't move quickly. Yeah, Kisara definitely has a very... Right, that's... Did, does Guardian Field do damage or did someone else defeat the enemy radar. in the meantime? But yeah, anyway. I should, like, figure out what Kisara does so that I can use her effectively. So, Kisara. Flaming Meteor. Closes in and delivers a hammer swing. That is a power strike. That is a shield strike. Shield thrust that hits the surrounding area while restoring an ally. So that does do damage, and it heals, seemingly. Well, not seemingly. I've seen healing numbers go up when I use it. Yes, Kisara strikes the enemy with a shield, then hammer, stronger if activated while guarding. 
Oh, interesting. And no aerials on her. I kind of expected... I kind of expected her to have a... For whatever reason, I expected her to have a shorter jump in combat. I guess I don't know that any characters have had a... have had a different jump height. I was thinking of Law as being faster than most characters, but I think I'm just misremembering because I, I put an accessory on him. I put an accessory on him that makes him faster. So that's probably what I have in mind. Yeah. Anyway, is that the spirit vessel I'm looking at there? Right you are. To make the energy extraction easier, there's a crusher at the base of it that grounds rocks into fine pieces. Back in the day, it wasn't uncommon for people to accidentally fall inside. Yes, but now nobody is forced to do that sort of hard labor anymore. Such accidents are rare these days. And thankfully so. Things are better than they used to be here. Really, the, the biggest... It feels sometimes like the biggest change between this place and the rest of the somewhat unpleasant realms that we've been in is the... Mostly kind of boils down to, yeah, mostly boils down to the fact that this place has OSHA standards and other places do not. There's more to it than that, of course. That's being a little bit, a little bit, uh, reductive. But, you know, all in good time. Ah, I hit the wrong button, unfortunately. We still get a cool move, but we don't get a cool move with Kisara, which is what I really want. Okay, we're all right, Alpin. Yeah. Okay, Sora definitely has a a little bit of a slower. I mean, definitely a much slower, especially compared to Law. Yeah, a much slower sort of attack. She she attacks slowly. Yeah, she attacks slowly, but she does seem to break enemies very quickly. Hmm. All right, let's. Hit things actually. There we go. Make use of maybe some of this this ability. Okay, so yeah, the flaming meteor does have a fair amount of tracking on it. it. Does have a fair amount of tracking on it. Everyone still in one piece? Yep. I barely worked up a sweat. Oh, and I just realized. Yeah, now that we have, now that we have some healing. Now that we have some healing, I guess we... If we use Guardian Field judiciously, we could we could uh, be a little bit less dependent on Chion spending cure points. Because I don't... I don't think it uses cure points. It shouldn't, because she's not using... Oh no, it does. Never mind. Never mind. I mean, I guess it's less dependent on Chion using cure points, because it's not Chion using cure points. But... I was hoping that we could maybe get some cure pointless free healing. Cure points aren't that hard to come by, I suppose. So maybe I shouldn't be too concerned, but you can't blame me for, for hoping, I suppose. This is back where we came from, isn't it? Yes. So this, that's the peach gel, that's okay, so we've been all over over these places. That's the chicken we just picked up. So yeah, so I got turned around a little bit. I suppose this, the layout's not too complex. I've just got to remember to take a left here. Take a left when I get to that map action. Hmm. I felt, wasn't there a character who could like roll, roll when falling from a height? I think, I think some of them do. Yeah. So looking at Kisara's movement animation, I like the sort of uh, I like the the way that the armor the armor moves. It feels like maybe it could, maybe it should be a little bit. Um, it feels a little bit light, a little bit like it could. Um, I don't know. It feels a little bit too light almost for being presumably fairly heavy metal. But I guess in this world necessarily. Strong metal armor doesn't necessarily have to be especially heavy. Yeah. 
doesn't necessarily need to be especially heavy. But yeah, so I guess the fact that Kisara's healing abilities do use astral energy the same as Shion's do would seem to imply that perhaps the devices, the astral energy devices that she uses do need to be recharged like I was wondering earlier. Which makes sense. I suppose if they had infinite sources of astral energy, they wouldn't need to do a lot of the horribly unethical things that they do. Not that that would stop them, of course. Hmm. That, was, that was an interesting little exchange there. But yeah, it's like this. Hmm. Yeah, the, the lack of <coughs> being able to... Yeah, the lack of ability to get sort of this instantaneous... Nice. Excellent. I liked it. Yeah, the lack of ability to get the sort of very fast, instantaneous... Fast, instantaneous movement from a dodge definitely makes Kisara feel a little, even more sluggish than she perhaps already is. Again, I don't know that she's really all that sluggish, necessarily. Or if it just sort of uh, feels feels that way. Okay, so yeah, so I do... When I use Flaming Meter, I do go in a little bit. And it does, it does track, but it doesn't track aggressively. Yeah, I suppose I probably do need to... Ooh, nice. Excellent. But yeah, I probably do need to hit things with, with my skills in order to get proficiency with them. I think that's how it works. But yeah, so I was going to say, I would assume that metal armor would be heavy. So I would think that it would bounce a little bit less. Or if it does bounce, it would affect sort of her gait a little bit more. Because yeah, the armor doesn't seem to be a whole lot... doesn't feel like it's got too much more weight to it than, say, the little, like, tassel. That's, that is uh, hanging off her, her belt there. Nice. Job. Maybe not so nice on not nice on the knees, but it was a nice job. Let's see. We already wrong button. We already pressed the wrong button. This is the way I was meaning to go. So nice. These are more of the yeah, granolums, so they should be able to do the the charge attack. They just don't seem to be. Oh, well. I was gonna say they don't seem to be all that inclined to use it. And then they use it, but I can't do anything about it when they use it, so. If you would be so kind, Rinwell, thank you. Hmm. Oh dear, where's uh I was gonna say, where's where's she on? She needs some help. Hmm, hold on. It felt like I... Hmm. You know what? Do some damage to that guy. But yeah, I was gonna say, it felt a little bit... I think I triggered the... feels a little bit like I triggered a Guardian... or not Guardian Rush. A Counter Edge. I don't know where I got Guardian Rush from. I don't think that's the name of anything in this game. Nice, nice. Excellent. Very good. Our work is done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you. A good variety of, of cool moves, also. Wind and earth resistance. Okay, okay. I like the sound of that. We're in a very earthen area. Yeah. So so far, we've seen an area based on light, an area based on fire, and this is an area based on earth. So, water and wind are next, not necessarily in that order. And I assume, I assume that we're going to go to, Re uh, to Rena at some point, and that it will be probably darkness-based, even though darkness is an element that apparently occurs only on Rena. So I've got to be, I've got to be a little bit careful because I can, 
one thing that I keep doing is I, and I'm doing it here to demonstrate, but I keep using, I keep using Flaming Meteor while I'm already in Flaming Meteor, because I get a little bit impatient with my inputs. If I don't sort of see the results of them immediately, I sort of assume that, oh, maybe it, uh, you know, maybe it didn't read, so I should press it again just in case, but, you know, the game does a pretty good job of buffering your, your inputs and all that. So I probably don't need to worry about that, really. Looks like we got them all. Indeed. Yes. Let's see. The opal was the the opal was the item that we got. I think. Hold on. What was the? We should probably put a, an accessory on it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Opal was the accessory we got the reduced earth damage and whatnot. You might want to make a few more of those. I'm assuming that we probably can out of the opal masses that we've been picking up. And while we're here, we'll take a look at uh, take a look at her equipment a little bit. Imperial shield, great shield handed out only to the guardsmen of Elda Menencia. Those chosen to wield it protect their beloved lord proudly with their lives. And I was gonna say, for some reason, I thought I almost thought for a second that the the imperial shield granted some some degree of. Uh, some defensive stats. I wonder if changing I wonder if changing the shield will also change the hammer. It definitely seems to be yeah, when I exit out of the menu, they both sort of flicker as though they are trying to reload. So presumably they are tied together. So I guess that would be why the shield I was gonna say that would be why the shield impacts your attacking stats, but I guess she does also attack with this shield. Yes, guardsman armor. Armor provided to the Guardsmen of Eldamanensia that provides even greater mobility than the armor worn by Renin Armored Soldiers. I guess maybe it could just simply be designed to be light. Metal, metal aside. Maybe it's ceramic or something. Or, you know, maybe it's magic. Or maybe they just didn't think about it that much and I shouldn't be thinking about it that much myself. That's pretty common in design, to be honest. There's always room to criticize, but sometimes the sometimes the answer is just, you know, it's not that big of a deal. And we didn't. It's not that big of a deal. Hmm. I should probably get better at reading the the counter or the not the counter, the charge moves. I'm going to counter the charge moves. Hmm. That's not it. If I do, yeah, I don't, I can't really maintain a combo if I keep, if I use Flaming Meteor repeatedly, I don't. Not that. Oh. I like that we started that move on the, started that move on the Ranolem. This place is a lot more complicated than I expected. No, there's no more. Is this the right way? No toxic yeah. gas. Oh no, there is. You'll find some metal scaffolding nearby. Once we go through there, we can make our way to the inner depths. First. Yeah, I was gonna say I like that we started that move on the Granolan and we ended on La Boom. So I guess that does that would seem to suggest that enemies are sort of drawn into those into those moves that I've forgotten the name of. Despite my Tremendous fondness for them in all of their coolness. Hmm. So it does sort of have a a certain a certain I don't know, it feels it feels weird to say this, but she does have a certain path to her movements. Oh dear. Yeah, a certain Oh, Grinwell's down. Let's okay. How do we what has happened? Why are we why are we so low on health so quickly? You know what, let's, oops. Didn't mean to do that, but oh well. Hmm. Okay, so a yeah, a guardian field does do a pretty good amount of healing for the for the for what it costs. Not enough. Yeah. Yeah, not bad, rather. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. 
I can't think of any particular reason why it would be. Ooh, very nice. A hard one victory. Why it would be any more efficient than any of Xion's healing, if indeed it is. I guess I don't remember how much Xion's abilities cost offhand. They probably do heal more. They probably do heal more. And of course they have a, a higher range and all that. They also don't heal multiple party members at once, I don't think. Whereas I definitely I definitely saw I definitely saw Guardian Field do that. Very interesting. But yeah, she does definitely she doesn't have sort of as easy of a stride as everyone else does. definitely feels like she puts in a little bit more effort when she's when she's moving and especially when she's moving quickly and when she suddenly stops and again I don't know how much if if for sure oops ah. yeah I don't know for sure if uh, her movement speed is any different from anyone else's other than the difference that is inherent with the fact that, again, I've been playing for a little while, or at least the last time I was playing, I played mostly as a character, that I put an item on them to make them move, have Let's a faster movement speed. Prize. I could have phrased that a little bit better, but... Are you on alert for your brother? You needn't worry so much. He's not the type of man to act rashly. Right. I almost feel like Well for one thing, I feel like I feel like there was meant to be some dialogue for some more dialogue for uh Isara there that didn't play for some reason. It felt like there was a space that should have been filled there. But um you know, it feels to me almost like uh Dohalim asked Isara to accompany accompany him here at this point, more for her own benefit than for than for his. I don't I don't doubt that he probably feels safer with Isara around. But definitely he seems like the sort of person to to sort of think of it in terms of uh right. Sort of he definitely strikes me as the sort of person to think in terms of you know, wanting them to have some time together after so much time apart. I can't say that for for completely certain. Right. So yeah, so we've definitely probably a lot of the, the certain sluggishness that I feel from Kisara probably just stems from the fact that her her moves have a fair amount of wind up and a fair amount of uh, follow through. Barely a blip on our radar. Am I okay? There we go. I was in an animation, right? Let's see, there's more over here. I haven't been as thorough as I as I thought I was. Hmm. Did that did we not get that or did that respawn? Hmm. Yeah, here I was expecting a, a very dialogue heavy episode here. As it were. And uh yeah, so I didn't I didn't think to uh, to uh, bring up the list or review the list of topics that I wanted to talk about. Hmm. I knew that that wasn't the, the charge move, but I sort of wanted to to see. I wanted to make double sure that, and I guess at this point it would be more than double sure, but I wanted to to be very sure, uh, unnecessarily sure perhaps that. That uh, in fact, what I believed was true. Yeah, what I believed was true, and that the, I guess more so, what the game told me directly told me was true. You're not participating in this battle, all, but I appreciate the enthusiasm nonetheless. But uh, yeah, that what the game told me was true, in that when I, yeah, Kisara's, Kisara's cool ability is specifically for. Oh, hold on. Oh, I stayed away from that exclamation mark because I <laughs> I mistook it for the area that we were meaning to go to. 
Alright, that didn't work. But yes. Where was I? Something... Hmm. I was somewhere, doing something. But now, we're back here, I guess. Oh yeah, right, I was talking about... Funnily enough, the topic that I was talking about was the fact that I hadn't prepared any topic to talk about. Yeah, because I was assuming that there would be more, you know, more just inter-character dialogue that we'd be having. It is what it is, though. Not a bad thing that we have more combat here. Yeah, I think one thing that I meant to talk about, but I didn't get the chance to, if I remember correctly, was I did want to... I wanted to mention the, uh, the new Pokemon game, Scarlet and Violet. I do have Violet pre-ordered currently. Um, I don't, I don't know for sure that it's going to. But I got a physical copy of it, and uh, of course, every time. Okay, so that's definitely a guard edge. But anyway, every time that we, every time. Oh dear. All right, maybe I should focus a little bit more. But I want to talk, so I'm going to do that instead. But. Uh, Every time we, we start a battle and the enemies start off with their doing their charge move, I never have I never have the ability I never have Kisara's guard ready or her her boost attack ready. Because I use it use it in suboptimal suboptimal times. Our elephant is getting pretty hurt there. So I should maybe be careful about that. Not that there's too much that I can do offhand. All right. Oh, I thought we were we were done there from the. Yeah, I was sure that that would deal enough damage. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. No, I was gonna say. Or, I was gonna try and think of what what combinations we haven't seen with Isara. Ooh, Topaz Mail. Mail aligned with Topaz. Its resilience against astral arts comes at the weak the price of its weak defense against physical strikes. Hmm. Yeah, so that would be... Oh, no. Ah, okay, so that... Yeah, that is for... Yeah, that is for Alfin. Yeah. I don't know, it says that it has weak defense against physical strikes, but it improves all of our defenses. I guess, when was the last time we got new armor for... Alfin? In a while, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Oh well. Let's see. There's nothing... Nothing else that sticks out that we haven't investigated. Because, yeah, we've gone up that ladder and everything. So, yeah, that was definitely grayed out before. So, yeah, so the resource nodes are respawning. It's not that I haven't interacted with them yet. And I guess I'm pretty sure I do need to interact with them to put them on the map in the first place. So if they're if they're on the map in any capacity, I've interacted with them. I could go around and collect some more resources, but I don't feel like I have any particular need. I could definitely benefit from better accessories, but I don't feel like it's all that necessary. You know, let's take on these boomies before we get further further in. Yes, what with those OSHA standards that I mentioned earlier? We need to we need to find a safe route. A proper route down those stairs. I wonder how yeah, Sara's uh, aerial combo is also a little bit slow. And by a little bit slow I mean pretty pretty darn slow. Even more so than her Okay, so yeah, so that's definitely I don't know that that's a counter edge necessarily, but it's definitely it definitely seems to behave in a similar sort of way. Yeah, she can move fairly well, fairly quickly when she's not attacking or guarding. So probably a lot of the, the sluggishness that I've been mentioning repeatedly comes just from the... just comes from the... The slowness of the attacks and the combos, rather than the actual, or actual movement speed. 
which Looks seems like to be we've arrived. This is the not way to the too far from the facility, right? You'll see. Let's keep going. All right. Let's get some healing. Let's see. What are we? What do we want? I can't. I can't fast travel here, so I don't want to like leave and come back with more opals. I briefly entertained that idea because I was kind of hoping that there'd be a merchant around here, but it seems that we are not going to be so fortunate. I guess maybe we we don't necessarily have a boss fight coming right up, but it it definitely feels like it with the healing point. Oh. This also doesn't look like a medical facility, but it doesn't look there too really bad. There is an underground lake here. Tell me, where is the medical facility? It's not here. Hmm. In fact, honestly, it never that's even existed in the first place. That's better than I what I suspected but because I thought that they I've were people carried in here with my own eyes. People would have the where like they have all gone? experiencing the horrible tortures right in front of you. You in need but open your eyes. The space that would have what been a mean? medical facility. What are you trying to say? That they all drowned in this lake? No. They're just what you see before you. What's left when matter ceases to be matter? Mm. Perhaps the scale is throwing you off. Let me show you what I'm getting at. Mm. Well, that's not a lake, per se. What? It, it can't be. Mm. So then, this entire lake is... Yes, all this is the hollowing. Mm. I still don't follow, Nagal. What happened to your hand? And what is this hollowing you speak of? This is what I wanted to show you, my lord. When a life form's drained of its astral energy, its physical form breaks down completely, a death leaving no physical remains. That's it. All that's left is a reflective substance, the only proof that matter once existed at all. That mm. hollowing is the substance that fills this lake. This whole lake. How many people? How many Danans? <laughs> you actually expect thing. me to believe all that? That an astral arts illiterate Danon would know of this unseen atrocity? And that I, a Renan lord, would have no knowledge? I have. One last piece of evidence, Lord Dohalim. Mm. Oh, this is going to be... Oh, no. This is a fruit of Helgen. The cause of all of this. Mm. Oh, dear. What are you doing, Nagal? <coughs> Here is your proof, my lord. Proof of the bounds of your knowledge. Proof of the countless Dan and deaths under your watch. No, they were not merely deaths. Those Danans were completely erased. And now, the only testament is that lake of hollowing. Nicole! Someone close to you is behind all of this. This person is amassing huge amounts of astral energy. You have to stop them. You're the only one who can prevent Menencia from returning to the living hell that it was once before. I beg you, for the future of the utopia you have created, please stop them. 
Don't let your dream die just as it's become a reality. Uh, wait a minute, I... I don't know if I... Nicole! 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 Forgive me, Kisara. I'm sorry. It was the only way I could open his eyes. <laughs> I didn't have much time left anyway. Please help our Lord Dohali to make our greatest dream a reality. We'll make sure that this happens. Your sacrifice won't be in vain, Miguel. Miguel? Miguel? No! Not, not what I was expecting, to be sure. Oh dear, oh dear. I was expecting, I was expecting to come out of this angry at the awful, awful treatment that the, the damage would be experiencing in what I assumed would be, again, sort of more sort of a torture facility than a medical facility. But I don't suppose there's anything I can do. I guess he's not using heart. Oh. Yeah, it'd be nice if I could. There's nothing I can really do, I don't think, to keep his attention. I guess I just need to. Yeah, I just need to be careful for when he's using his. using arts that I could easily block. Ooh, oh, that. It almost feels inappropriate to be using this on her. her very. her employer that she's very fond of. But that was a cool move nonetheless. So it's good that the yeah, guardian field doesn't get cancelled even if even if you are moved involuntarily while it's active. Yeah, this is a a bad day for everyone involved, I think. Nothing gets through me. Alright, so. I guess I knew that I was pretty confident there was a boss fight coming up, so I probably should have 
been proactive about this, but yeah, how do I, right, turn on, okay, okay. And I see a bottle, everything else should be fine. Actually, hold on, I want to make sure I can, I can spare some life bottles. This is a boss fight. All right, let's get our head in the game. Oh, all right, four, four times. I guess I might be, again, I might be focusing a little bit too hard on trying to time the guard, because I don't know that the timing has anything to do with it. I haven't, yeah, I haven't seen anything that would seem to suggest that, yeah, that timing a block, specifically. Okay. Good of you to get up again for that, Kisara. Uh. Alright, uh, Shion, I was gonna say, yeah. If you could heal, like, now, that'd be very appreciated. Alright, alright. Hmm. Alright, there we are. Very good, very good. Alright, so we need to get Alphan up. We don't have any cure points. Do we not? Hmm. We don't. Whoops. We might not have it in the strategy to be using cure point restorables, but it should be. Well, one one way or the other. We need to get Yeah, we need to get Alphan back up. I would very much appreciate that. And right, we need to wait a little while for the, the items to go off cooldown. And they're back on cooldown again because the AI was using them. It might be given that I can pretty easily use items regardless of who I'm controlling. Right. Given that I can pretty easily use items regardless of who I'm controlling, it might be in my best interest to uh, not rely on, not rely on our allies for that. Thank you very much. All right, all right. All right. Not bad, not bad. I don't like this. Maybe I should have been standing back. But rocks. Okay, so this there is an indication of where they're falling. Hmm. Alphans down again. Hmm. Oh, okay. So yeah, that hit me from behind, and it. Uh, Hit me from behind and it knocked me out of my blocking state. So, yeah. It, yeah, Kisara's shield does follow the same the same logic that other shield effects do. It does follow the same logic that other shield effects do. In that it uh Yeah, it prevents or it only it only works from the front. It only works from the front. I should probably be a little bit more careful. Even, even again, that I can, I should probably use Guardian Heal a little bit more to get some, get some more defense and get some party-wide healing. Because Dohalene definitely has some, some pretty devastating effects. Pretty devastating attacks on him. But yeah, we maybe could... I guess, honestly, I don't know that we... And easily switch him back in. But I was gonna say it might, it might have been something that we. Hmm. Okay, that didn't work, unfortunately. I wonder if I just timed it wrong. But... 
Oh yes. So anyway, given that we don't have, uh, I don't think we can get arcs off of him like we can some other enemies. So it might have been, it might have, it might have been a good idea to have Law in instead of uh, Rinwell for this. I need to, what I really need to do is I need to just get out of the way. I need to get out of the way of the of the truck when it comes running towards me. I guess trucks don't run, but you get the idea. Yeah, Shion, if you'd be so kind. Oh wait, hold on. That's an art. I did, I failed to steal it from him. Shion? Shion? Please? Uh, more cure points, I guess? Yeah? Alright, thank you. So, I don't like the situation that we're in, but oh well. Maybe we should just switch off to, uh... Oh, hold on, we don't have a... We don't have... Res resurrection, there we are. All right, Resurrection, use that on... I don't know who you just targeted, but... Hmm. Hmm. All right, so back to Kisara. Items. Do we have... We do... No, we are out of... We're completely out of uh, life bottles, I think. Hold on. Uh, I didn't... I set them to not... Use the last ones, yeah? I guess maybe I use the last one. Maybe. Hmm. Alright, this isn't gonna go well, I don't think. Alright, at least this is a learning experience, we can call this. Hmm. Alright, so. I'll see what I, I'll see what I can do with Rinwell, I guess, but. Alright. Hmm. This is this is a uh, this is scary now. <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Alright, now my now from playing Kisara my muscle memory is all messed up for characters who can dodge. Oh, hold on, I didn't, uh, I didn't charge that, did I? Or maybe I did. Oh, hold on. Thank you, thank you. Hold on. Oops. Alright. Alright, not bad, not bad. Unleash some power. Hmm, we might... If I play my cards right, we might just have Rinwell carry this fight. Hmm. Oh, I don't like that. Alright, so... This... The animation's a little bit intimidating, but the move itself isn't that scary. This is definitely definitely a scary fight, for sure. Dance in the wind. Sleep I will take this opportunity to oh dear. Alright, that went better than I was expecting. In here. It seems that he's getting a little bit impatient with us, I think. Alright, but we're doing we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Man, wouldn't this be wouldn't this be a story for Rinwell to tell all of her all of her friends back in the uh, in the Silver Swords? That time she single handedly, more or less, took down a uh, I don't know, single handedly is being dismissive of the others, so we don't want to do that. But the time that she went in fought a Renin Lord in single combat. 
for at least a while and survive, but also <laughs> survive for one thing, but also uh, beat him. Man, if I could get Law in here, that'd be really nice. I don't know that I can, but I also don't know that I can. Let's see. Can I? Oh, switch battle character. Yes. Or is that just does that just switch who I control? It might just. Hmm. Controls. Yeah. Um. Strategy. Custom strategy. And there's nothing. It doesn't seem like there's anything I can do to actually get Law onto the field. Do I? Ah, here we go. I can at least have Law do some punching, as he is wont to do. Oh. Well. All right. So. Oh, hold on. Right. This just this drops us right at the back. This part of the fight again. All right. So. So. Unwell is not a bad choice to have around. We've learned that he does use astral arts. That can be can be stolen. Alright, move out of the way. Alright. Yeah, those. I don't just get. Can I. No, I can't. I can't get any more information. Maybe I could have if I. in the pre fight menu. If I hadn't sort of uh, misjudged what was going on there. But yeah, it does definitely seem that the counter edge type effect that that Kisara gets from blocking does have to be... It is timing based. There is a timing element to it. Okay. Yeah, there does seem to be a timing... a certain timing to it. Because when I... For a while there, I wasn't trying to time it at all because I assumed that it didn't care about timing. And when I didn't do it at all, because I didn't miss, because I assumed that it didn't care about timing, I didn't get, didn't work ever. And to be fair, I should probably, <laughs> it's probably better to use it too soon rather than too late. But yeah, there's definitely, yeah, there's definitely, yeah. Trying to trying to time it is the only way to really get it to work properly. Alright. So, see if you can distract him a little bit there, Alvin. Alright. Please, uh please use your fuel move. Okay. Oh, and Shion's down too. Alright. Nothing gets through me. I hope. Hmm. I really hope that this doesn't. Oh yeah, no, it does. It does definitely lose me by. I wonder if there's any any abilities I can use to make the the characters even even less uh, apt to charge in against. Oh, no, maybe I should. I should. Uh, be watching my own back too. No he stopped moving. Get him back. Quite a thing. I don't have much left. I'm ready to go. Oh, there are points. So yeah, when I know that he's about to do a big strong move, I should maybe like get out of the way. Probably. If I don't have... yeah, like that, exactly. If I don't know for sure that... Oh. Yeah, if I don't know for sure that I have something that I can specifically use to stop it, like I would have in that instance, if I had been a little bit more careful. Yes, thank you, Xion. While, you, while I'm getting back up, feel free to shoot him a lot. Thank you. 
Alright, uh, yeah, so I, there's definitely there's definitely a timing element there, because I didn't block... Yeah, the way it was phrased, I was thinking that maybe it was just based on the number of attacks that I blocked. I was thinking that it was maybe just based on the number of attacks I blocked, rather than blocking a specific attack in a particularly well. Alright, no, so this... Yeah, he's about to do a thing. Or no, this is this is a different one. This is a different one. This is a thing where it's fine to be near. Alright. Probably be using using that move a little bit more often. Actually. Well, also. Oops. Ah. Alright, just lost the Yeah, just lost the uh, opportunity to really use uh Vinwell's piece there. Oops. Oh dear. The only two of these are fine. It would be nice if there was some way to get the my allies to prioritize being around uh, being around Isara. Alright, there we go. So we finally stopped him. If I did that more often and more consistently, probably this fight would be would have been a lot easier the first time around. Law? He'd be so kind. I guess we do have... Even though Law is not actually actively participating in the fight, we do still have him as a sort of on-demand punch button. Whenever we want something to be punched, we can just press the punch button and it will be punched. Alright. Ah, uh, sadly... Yeah. I knew that that was... I knew it was unlikely that we'd be able to... I knew that it was unlikely that I'd be able to actually get that get that art countered with Rinwell. So I probably should have just not, but I wanted to believe. So I, I went out on the limb there, and now I'm not going to have it for when I, yeah, now I'm not going to have it for when I actually need it. Alright, not bad, not bad. Alright, I was gonna say, if you could get Rinwell up, that'd be nice, and thank you for doing so. Oh, oh. Hmm, this was foolish of me. Alright. Yeah, I've gotta, you know, I've gotta remember that the, our moves are like, you know, things that have a tactical purpose. Like, I can't just use, I can't just use boost, boost, uh, the boost moves. I mean, I can, but I shouldn't. Fortunately, we're doing a lot better this time around. Keon's reluctance to aid me, notwithstanding. At least we're all, you know, alive right now. Or, well, not all alive, but at least we're not all dead. Chion, would you would you care to assist? Surely. Oh, I guess I can just yeah switch over to Shion. I didn't know that you could do it through that menu. Well, let's switch on resurrection. And yeah, you saw it's the only target that we can resurrect. Ah, uh, hold on, I'm not. Hold on, how much does Resurrection cost, actually? Uh, quite a bit. For some reason I thought it was, like, not very much. How much do... Yeah, her Astral Arts do cost a fair amount, so I suppose that's why... Oh, hold on, I think probably the reason why we... Hmm. Yeah, okay. I should... Maybe I should... Yeah, I guess I never thought of it that I did. I never really assigned any other healing items in our strategy. I guess I sort of just thought of. I don't even know if we have apple gels now. Huh. Yeah. So definitely. No, no. There we go. So yeah, I guess. Can I make this just be. 
healing items in general. No. Healing arts, ailment recovery, AO. Um. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe now is not the the time to. Uh, let's see. Can I? Um. LHP. Then we can use a treat. We can have a treat. Hmm. Okay, okay. And at least two allies are below... Let's make it... Since we can make it the multiple allies, when at least two allies are below 50% HP, we can use a full... or a full party healing item. And when a ally's HP is really low, we can use a... more powerful gel. Don't use the last of them. But yes. Okay. This should be fine, I guess. Yeah, I think when I do all of this, I forget to restore cure points. Uh, resurrection, please. Thank you. Alright. Isara will be alive again in just a moment. Everyone just wail on him, really. I can carve through armor. All right. I'll stop your movement, and I'll stop your life. I mean, don't stop his life. We do, we do appreciate this man. Everything, all things considered. Right? What was that just now? That? I understand this is a lot for you to take in. Yeah, that was... Miguel trusted you. That was some severe trauma on his Impossible. part, unfortunately. I have no such power. <laughs> Truth be told, I never wanted this. I never wanted to be a lord. However, competing for a position in the crown contest was required of me. Mm. And in the process... I took the life of a dear friend. The life I took and the bloodshed, the hatred that it earned me. It was far more than I could ever bear. But the screams and tears of the slaves, they would reawaken my memories of that day. The memories of my friend's scream and the tears of the one who mourned him. I couldn't take it any longer. I didn't want to remember. Hmm. So that's it? That's the real reason you freed the Danans? Just so you wouldn't have to listen to their screams? Wait. So everything you've done... Precisely. It was simply to distance myself from all the pain and death. All for my own selfish ends. And if it made everyone happy in the process, well, then that was just an added benefit. Or perhaps I... I truly did believe in those ideals at one point. But living up to them was never my aim. Mm. Impossible. Your dream of coexistence? The ideals that you always championed? So you're saying that everything you stood for? You're saying it was all just a self-obsessed lie? Tell me it isn't true, Lord Dahalim. Because... Because my brother... My brother believed in you in your dream! Forgive me. So this, this is who you really are? Stop! Let go! Let me go! Let me go! It's enough, Kisara! Stop! I'll tear him apart! I swear I'll... I'll... 
Are you trying to ignore your brother's dying wish? He entrusted you with his dream! Though he may not be the man we thought he was. Just kill me. I'm nothing. Are we? I am but a shell of a man now. I'm just a pitiful coward who shrank from his duties. I would only ask that you make it quick. There's more value to be had from him, I think. This man... This is the person my brother died for. And for what? For what? I need you to get out of my sight right now. Go, before I change my mind. I suppose that's what uh heard him to Are you feeling any better hand off his bracelet there yeah a little thanks what are we gonna do now i still have unfinished business with dohalim he's a world away from the lord balsef was there's no need for us to fight him shion in case you've forgotten I guys don't... guys i think something's going on outside hmm this this seems worrying. Kisara, there you are. What's happening? Kelvilik has started an insurrection. Oh, I knew it was him. The Danans out of the palace. What? Has he lost his mind? What about Lord Dohalim? We don't know where he is, Captain. We thought we thought maybe you would. No, I don't. I haven't seen him since we were inside the quarry. Damn. Hmm. Well, either way. I wouldn't go near the palace. Any suspected Renan sympathizers are being arrested on sight. This whole thing is a powder keg about to explode. Best prepare for the worst. Yeah, what I was... Sort of the idea that I've been forming is I think even if Dohalim... I think Dohalim probably believes in, in this... in his ideals more than I he thinks he does. I guess not all of the Renans here like the idea of coexisting with the Danans after all. But even if he doesn't, I think he has some value as a symbol, if nothing else. He means a lot to his so people. So this is it. This is the real Menensia. Some of them, anyway. Are you giving up? On what? This realm is already finished. It perished along with my brother's dream. That's a shame. And I guess all the people who believed in that dream are on their own out there, aren't they? Not all of the Renan sided with Kelzalik. There's still hope, Kisara. Your brother's dream is only dead when there's nobody left who believes in it. Am I wrong? There's fight in us left in this yet. And let's fight for that dream of his. You're right. I'm going to the palace. I need to see what's happening there with my own eyes. Uh, what are you all doing? We're going along, of course. What I else is it? Pretty clear. <laughs> what else would it be you. doing? I appreciate the thought, really, but there's no need for you all to get involved in this. Tohalim said it himself, right? All of us, we're liberators. Absolutely.
Thank you. Will things be okay in the city? I'm concerned about that as well. But for now, let us get to the palace. We are. Right. We best hmm. clamp down on things. Oh no, no, we're good on cure points. Okay. Source before they get out of control. The fact the enemy's holding themselves up tells me they're not exactly happy to see us. For sure. And we'd better go in prepared for whatever welcome we get. All right. I, I think it's okay for me to keep working. Nobody said I have to stop at least. Well, I'm glad that you've taken that, <laughs> taken that uh, initiative, my friend, because I need some earth resistance, I think. And we've got a lot of opal masses, actually. Wow. Anything else. Uh, move escape speed. That could be nice. Opal, opal mass. What about ooh? Oh, defense and increased aggro. I like the sound of that. I think we probably have enough opals at this point. And let's see the defense and increased aggro of oh, opal. I want that. I definitely want that. How many parallax stones can I throw into that? Or do I need to throw into that rabbit? A lot. All of them. And I'll and some more, I guess. Hmm. So I want to I feel like I kinda don't want to do all of that. Oh well. I don't know. We're not using them for anything else, I don't think. I might not want to Yeah, I'm fine with using up a lot of the parallax stones. I don't want to use all of them necessarily. Throw in some more some of the other sort of not as important abilities. I don't know that I don't have a whole lot of folk to do yeah, who do earth damage. Hmm. I did, yeah, I did kind of forget that there's like higher level materials now that I think about it. Some of these are quite good actually. Sadly, not, not, not really any of them are good for what we need, but SmackDown. Easier to down enemies with arts. That could be useful. Alright, anyway. So let's use some more of these. Probably don't need to... Well, actually, is it based on... Hmm. Okay, no, yeah. Level 2, level two materials do count for 2 items. So I should use a, yeah, should use a level one item. Okay. Since we do, we do have some better opal masses, I think. So yeah, actually, yeah, there's no reason really to hold on to the, or there's no reason to not use the lower quality items first, I guess, because we do have better versions of those items. Sort of, I forgot how the crafting system worked because I don't use it very much. Which is a shame, because you can get some pretty good effects out of it, actually. Yeah, maybe if I was a little bit more a little bit more aggressive with my item crafting, we could get some more your point cost. Is that just for of arts used during combat? just says arts to use during combat so maybe that isn't specifically and i think i'd want to put that on Xion anyway just in case but if that's just always that'd be pretty nice i think and honestly i don't care too much about drop rate so yes enhance what else do we want um, is there anything we can do? I don't know that we have any... Got a lot of fulfillment from this work. It looks like I might have to pack it up soon. Well, we'll do our best to make sure that that, that, that doesn't happen. Let's see if there's anything I could do to give you more. First of all, I want definitely yeah, defense and increased aggro. Very nice, very nice. That is, that is the... The sort of thing that you want on 
that you want to be Sarah, I think. You're fine as you are. We aren't using we aren't using uh, law very much right now. Fire damage. I almost want to put something else on you. I don't know what. It, I guess we don't have any. I don't have a lot of good accessories. Arts gauge recovery would be good. I'm gonna put the like I said the what is it, the spirit bank. There we go. That we're gonna put on. Well, actually, hold on. If we're assuming that, yeah, the accessory only counts for the person who's wearing it. Chion doesn't defeat a whole lot of enemies. But honestly, the if again, if we're assuming that the accessory only counts for the person it's equipped on, then reducing the cost of say resurrection from forty-eight to that would be whether assuming it rounds rounds up four point eight to five. Yeah, the 43. That's not, I mean, I guess that's not a huge, that's not a huge decrease, but it's significant. It'll pay off. It is statistically significant. And let's just get something on you. Let's see. Ideally, ideally something with fire damage. All right. Let's see what we have to we say have about to Kelzalik. Kelzalik. Don't you think it's about time you drop the sir? Yeah, I was gonna say it feels a little bit odd to refer to him as sir. He at always this point. treated us Danans with such warmth and kindness. Did he have such bad intentions all along? I I just can't bring myself to believe it. Forget about intentions. We should assume he's the one who's behind all these incidents. Hmm. That's it's not very surprising fair. to me that there are Renans and Men and Sia who resent Dohalim. But I didn't expect one would be so close to him. Mm. <laughs> yes, I suppose you're right. I guess all of us here in Menencia are still some way off from being a truly united realm, aren't we? But well, there's no are need to despair okay, just yet. Kisara? I don't know, but I definitely don't want things to end like this. Please, lend me your strength. As long as you'll lend us yours. Of course. Anyone who tries to oppress others is our enemy, and we'll gladly stand against them. Besides, I want to believe that this realm really can do better, too. All right, and we'll stop by you as well. I think probably I'm going to wrap up here pretty quick. No use getting panicked over everything going on. All I can do is keep working as usual. Let's see. Player Claw. Innocent Lily. So we need in gigafangs for a lot of these. Astral mass we don't have. Hmm. Feathered shield we can't create. Oh. Okay, so it seems that the hammer doesn't change. Interesting. Yeah, that's clay fragments also, but it's only one. So it shouldn't. Yeah, it won't be an issue with Xion. Flaming knight. For flaming knights. So we need astral masses. I guess we could use this as well. Oh yeah, and it's earth, it's earth, uh, or it's wind rather. Wind elemental as well, so that could be useful. Yeah, so let's, yeah, let's splurge a little bit. Astral masses, we'll definitely need some of those going forward. I don't know, I don't know if I should expect, um, yeah, I don't know, I think, I think astral masses are probably something that. Oh, oh wait, no. Okay, no, we're fine. Oh, we already have flame masses. Cool. But yes. Clear claw. We no, we don't have this. Oh, and increased increased fire arts. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, no question. No question. Innocent Lily. Yeah, might as well. Might as well. No reason not to. And everything, everything that we can make weapon-wise, we have. Having said that, I pray this isn't the last job I get to do. Have you guys checked your equipment lately? We just did. We just did. And again, I probably should have been a little bit more, a little bit more mindful of it. We're all at full health. We're at full cure points. And so yeah, we don't need to rest. We'll just uh, call it here. I think. Whoops. All right, so things are heating up. 
But we've reached, I think, the end of our time for today, like I just said. Fine place to... to... There we are. Fine place to end off, I was saying. The nice, nice cliffhanger. But yeah, intense, intense action today in Tales of Arise. Thank you very much for joining me tonight. It has been, it has been a pleasure getting back to this game. And what a, what an introduction, or what a re, what a return it was, rather. What a return it was. But, at any rate, it's about time that we wrapped up, like I said. So, if anyone has any raid suggestions, please feel free to drop them in the chat. In the meantime, take a sip. <clears throat> and I will go over, oops, go over the, also sip, go over the business. So, today, Tales of Arise, we have done it. Tomorrow should be some more, yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, Valhalla, Sheppy Sheps, all of that. Yeah, as of right now, I don't have any reason to believe that it will be delayed or or uh, cancelled or anything like that. So, I'm going to work under the assumption that it won't. Yeah. Um, so yeah, assuming all of that, the stream should begin at about 8.30pm Central Time. Friday, the stream should begin around... 7.30 p.m. Central Time, and also there'll be more Tales of Arise. <laughs> Maybe I should have led with that. But, as long as the information all gets out there, I suppose it's not too big of a deal in what precise order it gets out, so long as it is comprehensible. But yes. So... Hmm. Who do we want to raid tonight? Looks like we don't have any suggestions. Now, I think someone I haven't seen in a good while, I think we're going to go and visit Mercury Mimic tonight, see what they are up to. But yes, Mercury Mimic, a VTuber, yeah, a uh, yeah, VTuber, Mercury, Mercury Mimic, Mimic made out of Mercury, yeah, a student of alchemy, playing a game called Forgone, apparently tonight. Which I have never heard of before, and I cannot see because the there are ads playing. But such is life. Yeah, let me get that raid set up as well. Mercury mimic. All right, that should be. Yes, there we go. So, oh, it looks like uh, yeah, it looks like uh. Mercury Mimic has a new model, I do believe. It certainly looks unfamiliar to me. I guess, again, it's been a little while, so it might not be new, new, but it's new to me. But yes, so, with all of that said, the customary raid message is, as always, we have arrived. Oops. Let me see if I can spell that correctly. There we go. So. Ah, looks like they uh, just reached the credits. So maybe we're maybe we're raiding at a bit of an odd time, but oh well. Let's go and say hi anyway. So, once again, thank you all for being here tonight. I hope you have had a fine night. I hope that you will continue to have a fine night every night. And I hope that you will be well the next time I see you. Thank you all very much, and farewell. Let us get this raid underway.